What's going on, y'all? It is the <laughs> Tia Skipper here, and I am coming to you with this video, child, that it kept coming up on my timeline, and I was like, this is in direct proportion to what I've been feeling. So let's go on and talk about it. Since I was a kid, I knew I didn't want the American dream. I think I just wanted America. And now hear me out of what I mean by that. I knew I didn't fit into like the system of like how things were going or beauty standards or all kind of stuff. Like I just didn't fit into any of those chosen boxes. So I already knew that. But I wanted America, meaning I wanted the people. Like I wanted to be loved. I wanted to belong. I wanted to just find my place in life. You know what I mean? And so what that meant was there was a lot of times where I compromised and I tried to fit into the American dream or what you should want just so I can have the people. Even though I didn't want the dream, that's where the people were. You feel what I'm saying? So for a while, for a long time I did that. And let me explain what the American dream is. So depending on like your area of focus, the dream is different. So say for instance, for me, I'm mostly known as an artist, singer, songwriter. So with that, the American dream is, is to be signed, to sign a major deal, um, to be mainstream, and everything that comes with that. But for me, when I was coming into music, I wanted to be an independent artist, like off rip. That was not the American dream. And so when I would meet with uh, entertainment companies or labels, and I told them I wanted to be independent, they looked at me like I was crazy. They told me it was gonna be harder than I thought or too hard, and that it was gonna be a waste of my time, basically. But now everybody's independent and trying to get out their contracts. Anywho, that's another video. So that was the American dream. And then on a grand scheme, now it seems like the American dream is entrepreneurship, secure the bag, start a business, drop a business, uh, quit your job. Like, just it's like it's about money and gain and real estate. I feel like every time you swipe, you're going to see one of those three. Like, do you own your own business, do you own your own property, and probably child credit repair. But it's like, I don't want that. And when I feel like when you're really good at, at certain things, people naturally push the American dream on you. So if you're a great artist or something, it's like, oh man, you need to be signed. No, you need to really do your research and look at what goes into that. I don't want that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to do YouTube. You know, it's like, I don't, I don't want that because I've had, I've had the things that people said was going to make me happy and it didn't make me happy. You feel what I'm saying? It's like, oh man, just get your money together. Get your money right. Okay, then I got my money right. I got a lot of money and I'm still, still feel empty. What, what's going on here? Did I miss something? You know what I mean? Like, oh, you get the relationship. You get a relationship, but you still feel lonely. And so you checking off all these boxes and, and trying to accomplish all these things. It was like, there were so many things I wanted to accomplish and I was accomplishing them. But inside, I felt like I was going backwards. Ain't that funny? Everybody else was so proud of me, but I felt so lost inside. And so many people feel like that. And that's also what makes it harder for some people to, to walk away from a life that they know don't work for them. It's because it works for everyone around them. And you and listen, we want people to be proud of us, right? We want to bring honor um, to our families and to our friends. We want to make people proud. We want to inspire people. So when you start getting that affirmation, um, about that, like, man, you're changing lives, or, or, man, I'm so proud of you, and that may even be the first time you heard it, man, that could feel so hard, but what I've found is, what's even harder is trying to go on a self-love journey with someone you don't love, you, which is trying to practice self-love with someone who keeps betraying their own voice, you, <laughs> so it came down to the point where it's like, it's either the dream or it's me. And it's like, it's me, Pooh. Like, I'm still great. I'm still all the things God made me to be. I'm going to be all those things. I'm going to do all those things. But I'm going to do it my way. I tried y'all way. And I knew y'all way didn't work. And I still tried your way. And my heart got broken. And my spirit got bruised. And and I got used and taken advantage of. I got discarded from, from America's path. I'm not interested in that path anymore. I'm interested in my path. I'm interested in what feels right to my spirit. I want to do things where when I'm doing it, I feel like I'm so glad I'm doing it this way versus I can't sleep at night because I'm putting my life in someone else's hands. 
And then lastly, let's get to this entrepreneurship thing. I've been an entrepreneur since I was a kid. Before I even knew what the word was, child. I was not trying to be an entrepreneur. I just didn't like to be broke. So I was figuring out ways to bring in money so that I could have the things that I needed. But now it's like, it's so trendy to start your own business. And I'm not knocking it at all. If you want to start your own business, start it. But this is what I'm saying. I don't want to work. I don't want to work. I don't want to work without meaning. That's really what I mean. Because when you're working without meaning, when you're working without a greater purpose, I don't care. Bills are not, bills is not a greater meaning. Yeah, your bills got to be paid, but that's not a greater purpose. Like, when you, when you are working on something and you have a vision for it, you can be doing the work, but it doesn't feel like a lot of work. Or you enjoy the work because you want the vision. You feel me? And so just starting businesses to bring in money, that's not my thing. You know what I'm saying? Anything that I sell, anything I create for profit is because of what it means to me and because I, I genuinely use it, do it, or believe in it. It can't just be for money. That's not how I'm made. Now, I guess some people will say, like, you can't think like that. You just got to think about the money. No, you can't. You can do that. I ain't set up that way. And I'm not going to keep trying to restructure myself to be built in a way I'm not built. I ain't built like that, child. You understand me? It's got to mean something for me to do it. And so I was thinking the other day. And, and let me tell you where this video, why I even ended up doing the video. Because the other day I was looking at my goals and stuff. And I had to ask myself, like, Tia. Even if you accomplish all of these goals, are you going to be happy? And the first thing that popped up in my head was no. No, I won't. Because, number one, the grass is never greener on the other side. We all, it's easy to say, once I lose this weight, once I, once I get this money, once I get this job, once I get this relationship, once I, 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 and then you get over there and it's a little better, but it ain't, it ain't as green. It seems like it's the same shade of green it was. When you first started you know what I mean and so I had to ask myself like what would genuinely make me happy what would genuinely make me feel like I enjoy my life if all my bills was paid if I never had to worry about worry about paying another thing if the IRS could never find me <laughs> would I be happy and I realized that I would be happy if I had one thing and it's love love of my life love with the companion with the companion that's it I don't I don't have a I just don't have the love for the money I know the money is necessary and I desire the money to do the things I love you feel what I'm saying and so for me it's a no like it's a no on trying to run around and, and get things done or trying to or being so busy just so I can look accomplished it's a no for me to start more things or start more businesses than I can actually handle that's a no for me anything you see from me is original it's authentic and I I enjoy doing it and that's what I'm spending my life on sorry y'all if y'all can hear that that's my heat cutting off but that's what I'm literally spending all my time doing now what is it that I love what is it that I enjoy I understand that life is full of some things that we have to do that we may not enjoy doing I get that but that doesn't have to be the bulk of my life. And I had a lot of my life that was unloving. And I was having moments that was filled with happiness. And I was having moments that was filled with my dream. And now I want my life to be filled with my dream. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm grateful to be an American. But I don't need your dream. I came with one. And I put it down because the world made me think that their dream was better for me. You feel me? But after I tried on y'all outfits, I tried to walk in those shoes. I made y'all a lot of money. I gave y'all a lot of love. But I was lacking everything that came, that would have came to me from living my dream. So I'm saying to you, you ain't gotta be busy, child. You ain't gotta be out here running like a chicken with your head cut off. Figure it out what, figure out how you wanna live. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry about how you're going to make that happen. But just try to spend some time on thinking like how you want to live, how you want to feel, how you want to love. You know what I mean? And and that's what's going to come to you because that's what's coming to me. Like I'm so excited, y'all. Like it, it's time for your dream. It's time for your dream. It really is. And give that your attention. Stay focused on your lane. Stay focused on what you're doing. And that's it. So I love y'all. <laughs> As I always tell you, I love you. Shout out to everybody who be commenting on my videos. Y'all are the best source of self-esteem ever because y'all are so kind. Um, and yeah, live your dream, okay?
I'll see y'all soon.